Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Steven from Triff Gaming. Welcome back to another video of the greatest YouTube on the planet. So, today's video is very simple. As you guys see, this is not a danger profile, but what it is, it is the three, three most underrated decks of this format. So, clearly, I gotta put this, but it's not danger. I'm about to show you guys it is FDKs. But before we get into that, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I love all the support from you guys. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me through this little ban thing. I know for a fact that I'm just going to do the right thing and unban me very soon because I do not deserve to be banned. I did not slow play whatsoever. I just joked about it on camera. I didn't actually slow play. It was just me over-exaggerating on camera. I didn't actually slow play. But anyways, moving on to this video, make sure to subscribe, show your boys some support, and uh, we're going to go right into it. So I'm going to show you guys the three most underrated decks of the format. Number one is uh, FTKs, specifically the Danger Two Cannon Soldier FTK, or not or Cannon Soldier, you, you can play any one of them that you want. Uh, you can play Two Cannon Soldier for Sauce, because it looks cooler, and because uh, I'm pretty sure it's ten times more expensive. Anyways, this one is incredibly underrated, man. It's literally so consistent. I pull this FTK up almost every turn. I ma uh, The way I play is completely different compared to other people, because, you know, I actually have a brain, and I know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh!, so, uh, we don't play bad cards. A lot of danger FTKs with Cannon Soldier. So, basically, you don't know how to do the actual FTK. It's a uh, new loop, Grafa, and Firewall. Non-stop with Cannon Soldier. So, Cannon Soldier is going to continually uh, destroy Grafa, triggering Firewall, the special uh, Dark World. Grafa effect bring out on the field. Cannon Soldier destroy Grafa. Uh, Firewall effect trigger the Dark World. It comes back in your hand from Grafa's effect. Goes down the field, Grafa, bring that monster back to your hand, etc. Never-ending loop of uh, infinite damage to your opponent's life points. So if you guys want, I'll do a video on this in the future. Just let me know in the comments. But this is the profile for it. It's uh, it's incredible. I max out on all dangers because uh, their effects, what they do when they hit the field, to me is almost irrelevant. Except for Nessie and the one that brings out Nessie from the deck. But uh, they're just danger. You just want them for their name of danger. Uh, what dangers do... For Dark Worlds are unreal. And it gives you so many plays. And uh, the fact that they're all uh, dark and different. Uh, like they're Aqua, Beast, etc. Makes you go into Curious way easier. And uh, well, it's just honestly incre an incredible engine. Next uh, we do play the Ascended of Thunder. So uh, for those of you who don't know what this does. It's a free. It's like a junk forward. It's just a free summon monster. Uh, you can summon it anytime. It's like instant fusion in a sense. Like you don't need it. it doesn't even be the first monster. Uh, you special summon it by paying 3,000 life points. And uh, who cares? Life points are irrelevant because you're gonna OTK FTK your opponent in the first turn, anyways. And it's level seven, so you go into the Galaxy Tomahawk with this, and Galaxy Tomahawk equals FTK or Curious equals FTK. Like all you really need to do is put up five, mo four monsters on board, and you win. Like Summon Sorcerers FTK. Like there's so many different ways to FTK. I'll show you guys more in the future because I'm actually interested in it. But uh, it it's absolutely incredible. Like opening up one of the ways to go into Nessie, and this is auto win. Like. Ascendant of Thunder is incredible in Link deck, so you gotta play, especially with Tomahawk not being banned. Anyways, with Dark Horse, you play three of everything, pretty much. Uh, three uh, three Beige as well, just because it's a free summon. One Soldier, kind of Soldier, has 28 in total. Soul Charge, Monster Reborn, Upstart, Triple Lord, Triple Dark World, Dealings, Triple Gates. Uh, these 40, I wouldn't change anything. Uh, it's absolutely perfect. Like, it's, I'm telling you right now, uh, even through hand, like, with the exception of Droll, Droll is one of the only stuff that actually stop it. It Blitzkrieg through hand traps, like, it's actually incredible. Uh, in terms of the extra deck, we just play a bunch of links. The only ones that are important, I'm going to put over here in the side. The only ones that are important are Reprodocus and Summon Sorceress. For those of you who don't know what Reprodocus does, it makes Summon Sorceress a generic link 3. So you go into any two monsters, you go into Reprodocus, and then uh, Reprodocus targeting one of the other links, uh, one of the monsters uh, d down towards it, make it a dino or whatever, and then go into Summon Sorceress. So uh, Summon Sorceress, Link Spiders needed. Curious is needed, Firewall is needed, and Tomahawk's needed. So these six are the only ones you need for the FTK. Uh, the other nine are just generic, whatever whatever you want. It's absolutely amazing, and uh, we're going to save that. We're going to move on to the next deck. This is definitely one of the most underrated decks in the format. No one's talking about how good FTKs are. Like, Cannon Soldier wasn't touched. Firewall wasn't touched. Summon Sorcerer wasn't touched. Tomahawk wasn't touched. Curious wasn't touched. Like, there's so many FTKs out right now. That no one's even realizing. It's going to be in the FTK format. Because FTKs weren't touched whatsoever. So I got to put at generic FTKs. As the uh, first underrated. Uh, number three underrated deck. Uh, but danger FTKs are definitely the best out of all of them. So next for underrated is True Draco. 
Wow. Does that continue to continue to slip under the radar? Dracos are absolutely incredible right now, this format. Every single deck in the whole meta got absolutely power crap. They got destroyed. Uh, the, I don't consider Sky Striker or, or Brickstar meta. They're just garbage. And Alter Guys is also garbage. So they don't count. But the only good decks, Pendulum and Goki, got. Re I, I didn't realize how much of a hit Goblin was. Gokis are still an amazing deck. But the hit on Goblin was absolutely huge, honestly. It was absolutely humongous. Uh, it was just a huge hit, man. It was a huge hit. Uh, but, hey, it, Gokis are still a great deck, so you need, Drake, Dracos are just the best, uh, counter to it, and, uh, the way we play, uh, yeah, Terraforming got hit to two, but that's really the only thing that got hit, uh, you got him. I don't know why people don't max out on this, but you gotta max out on all the, uh, mini Draco and, uh, mini Dracos, play all seven, don't play a mono, it's pissed right now, and then you play, uh, max out on every, uh, consistency draw card, triple Demise, triple Desire, triple Duality, ups, I don't care if Dynamite gets banished, like, who cares? You got so many mini Dracos that do the exact same thing. You don't need it. The only interruptions, that, like the trap interruptions, uh, the Draco trap cards, they're relevant. Like, yeah, they're good, but the floodgates are really what helps you. And just the mini Draco is a plus. So you need as many as possible. Uh, we we literally absolutely there's 32 cards you got. You must play in my opinion. In my opinion, and that's the seven monsters, all these spells, all the draw cards, and then uh, the four traps. And then you got room for eight floodgates. So you put whatever eight floodgates you want. Uh, after that. One sec. We got duality there. I don't know why. So we're just going to put Electrum. Because Electrum is deserving of uh, being right over here. Anyways. Uh, then, then for the side deck, just cards we might play. Uh, you got to side into the triple wide tap judgment. Because uh, people, everyone's going to be playing reboot against you. Uh, and evenly and stuff. So you got to play those. And then just generic cards that are good for the deck. Uh, yeah. So this is, in my opinion, the second most underrated deck. Uh, people don't understand the power of True Draco. It's absolutely underrated. And uh, I would not be surprised if Dracos is the most played deck right now because Pendulums are, and, and Goki, uh, the average player can't play them now. You gotta be actually good at this game, which instantly cuts out 99% of players in the world. So you gotta actually have a brain to be able to play Pendulum and Goki now, which now leaves the brain dead decks, the rest of them. They all suck, but Draco, also a brain dead deck, but it actually does something, it's actually good. So I wouldn't be surprised if Draco is one of the most played decks in this format. Uh, so th this to me is the second most underrated deck. And the most underrated deck, you already know, is Pendulums. No one is talking about Pendulums right now. Everyone completely is writing on Pendulums. Pendulums are the number one most underrated deck by a landslide. Like, how do you not think this deck is the best right now? Uh, the, oh, my bad. It's because you probably don't have a brain. But if you actually realize how the deck works, you play 31 card interruptions, that no, the and no deck in the... Like, how is Brickstars getting over any of the 31 card interruptions? They're not. You got a nag 2 to get rid of them. And it's not the only interruption you're putting out. You're putting multiple interruptions. Pendulums are definitely the most underrated deck in the meta. I cannot believe people are completely just throwing this deck away. Like, oh, Electrum got hit to 1. It's dead. Oh, Pen God got hit to 0. The deck is dead. You guys don't know anything, man. Pendulums are the best deck right now. Uh, definitely the most underrated deck. That's for sure. 100% the most underrated deck. I think they're the best deck. The world might not think so. But the world best believe it's the most underrated deck right now. If you don't think it's at least top 2... You don't know Yu-Gi-Oh. Or you can't play Yu-Gi-Oh. It's one or the other. So that instantly also cuts out 99% of the world. But it is definitely the most underrated and the best deck. Alright. It's going to be... I'm telling you right now. This is... Uh, uh, pendulums right now are like what Kawhi Leonard's going to do in the NBA next year. He's going to win most improved player. And he's going to win MVP. Shout out Toronto Raptors. Just like, the pe just like Pendulums will. When I get unbanned and win a bunch of YCSs with Pendulums... That's going to happen, alright? So, Kamani, please unban me so I can show the world the power of Pendulums and win multiple YCSs to show the world the power of this deck. Uh, this is the old profile I used. Uh, if you haven't seen me explain the card choices already, go check it out. I posted a few videos ago under the new game plan. Uh, check it out. There's a whole new theory with the deck. There's no more. Electrum doesn't matter anymore almost. But, uh... I will be releasing a new list, uh, very similar to this one, except uh, very fine-tuned. It'll be released in the next few days. And yeah, those are the three most underrated decks. It's uh, Pendulum number one, Draco number two, and FTKs, especially Danger FTK number three. These are three uh, absolutely amazing decks, and uh, you guys got to watch out for them. Uh, that's it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I do want to hit 15,000 within a month. So make sure to subscribe, even if you don't have a chat, even if you don't have an account, 
Go make one for your boys. Support your boy. Make sure to check all the links in the description below. Check all my sponsors. See you guys in the next video. Peace.